Storm Forecast. Well, it's an April in February weather pattern. Hello, I'm Storm Team 29 meteorologist Josh Fitzpatrick. Mostly because we have a gusty southwest wind out ahead of a strong storm system off to our west. These winds will huff and puff over the next couple of days, giving us that boost in temperature. Winds will be in excess of 30 miles per hour as we head into especially tomorrow night and the start of Friday out ahead of a very dynamic storm system. So right now, looking back at this morning from Pentacles along Skyline Drive, we had a sprinkle, a light passing shower. If you slept in, you totally missed it. And here's at, mid, at midday into the evening hours. We're watching the sunshine begin to break out and we're talking about numbers of at least 20, if not 25 degrees warmer than average for this time of the year. So tonight, unseasonably warm. You really don't need the heat. Look at these numbers in the 60s through at least mid evening and only falling into the 50s. We should be near freezing for overnight lows this time of year. So the clouds will increase once again. It'll be a dry start to your Wednesday and then by mid to late morning, midday, early afternoon, a band of April like showers, perhaps even a downpour will be on our western doorstep. They'll arrive from west to east and then a break as we head into tomorrow evening before more rain arrives into Thursday night and into the, into the start of Friday. So another warm day is on the way despite the clouds and the rain. It is a whopping 74 degrees in Charlottesville. Now we're not breaking record highs. The record highs are mostly in the lower 80s for this time of the year, so we're, we're still unseasonably warm. We should be having a high barely 50 this time of the year. 71 also in the Harrisonburg, so it's warm across the valley. Even the Blue Ridge Mountains are in the 50s and the 60s here at 4 o'clock. NBC 29's live Doppler radar is nice and dry. It will stay that way until later on tomorrow. Watching a few clouds begin to increase, some hazy skies up above that should make for a nice sunset during the 5 o'clock hour. But look at the contrast in temperature. We have the clashing of two seasons. It's winter north and west, spring down to the south. So there's, there's going to be a storm system form right along this boundary. And look at this. There's a winter storm on the cold side of the boundary, extending more than 1500 miles from Utah to central Michigan. Now we're not going to get the snow from the system or even the severe weather. So there will be a severe weather outbreak tomorrow from the Ohio Valley on down into the deep south. But here's what, how and when it will impact our weather. So tomorrow morning, 8 a.m., it'll be cloudy and rain free. But then late morning, midday, here's noon into the early afternoon, a swath of showers pass by 24 hours from now. Just a, a lingering shower before additional rain arrives late tomorrow night, Friday morning, there's 6 a.m. Widespread rain. The rain is gone by 2 p.m. So the weather looks fine for baseball over at UVA at uh, 2 o'clock on Friday. And we're going to be dealing with a half inch to maybe an inch of rain. So no severe weather or flooding expected this go around or even wintry weather. So overnight lows will be mild in the low and mid 50s for most of you under a mostly cloudy sky. For tomorrow, southwest winds, highs upper 60s and lower 70s. Rain late morning, early afternoon, seven day forecast. Rain Friday morning. Turning cooler during the day, our morning high will be in the 60s, will fall into the 40s and 50s, and then end up below freezing by Saturday morning. A brief cool down Saturday, low 50s, and then a warm up on Sunday and Monday.